Quick and easy pork tenderloin tacos with a pineapple salsa made right in your kitchen. Check it out. First thing we do is make our pineapple salsa. Let's see if this thing works as easy as they make it look. Wow, it works. And that's a good pineapple. One large jalapeno. One medium sized tomato. White onion. I promise those aren't tears. Use a whole onion. Add you about quarter to half a bushel of cilantro. Two limes. Now it's time to spice this up. We're gonna go in with a big pinch of kosher salt, a couple big pinches of some smoked black pepper. And now originally I was gonna use the original, that's Dano's green cap. But I started thinking about it and I'm like, Chipotle, pineapples, it's hard to beat. So we're going in with the Dano's Chipotle, give it a little kick. That's the maroon top. Now we just give it a mix. Let's go in for a sample. Now that's fantastic. Check it out. How cool is that? Now it's time to prep the tenderloin. Simply do this. Now you need clear plastic and one of these guys and you pound it out. Flip them over. Back on we go and do it again. Just like that. Time for the Dano's taco. That's the orange top. Sprinkle generously, my friends. Flip them over and do it again. Now, if you're wondering, why is he sprinkling so much? He's using so much seasoning. Well, Dano's is the right amount of salt. It's not packed full of salt. And it's real flavor, y'all, real ingredients. There's no cornstarch in our taco. There's no wheat flour. It's real seasoning inside the seasoning bottle. Just pat it around. All right, now we need a pan. You're gonna need a big pan like this. Did you know they used to call me Big Pan Man? Cause I had a big pan. Fire it up to just a medium temperature. Now you're gonna need some cooking oil. I use the sizzle. Cover the bottom of the pan. And now we sear. After two to three minutes, give them a flip. After a couple more minutes, give them one more flip. All right, it's seriously only been six or seven minutes. These bad boys are done. Now it's time to get fancy and make your organic corn tortillas. This part's real simple. Cut your pork thin, just like that. Now simply grab one of your tortillas, grab your meat, load it in, get you a big scoop, go right on top, maybe two scoops. Now you can put some hot sauce, some cream on this, whatever you want, but we're going just like that. I don't know how much more simple I can make something that's this delicious. You guys, Give it a try. Let me know what you think. We'll see you next time. Keep sprinkling, my friends. Yum, yum. Get you some.